Greetings, everyone. This is the Gardening Snail of Livingston, California. If you're interested in what's happening at City Hall, among other things, or just want to keep track of what our local politicians are up to, welcome to the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified when future videos are uploaded. What will the council cut? December 17th, 2019, City Council Meeting Agenda. City Council Regular Meeting Agenda, December 17th, 2019. Open session begins at 7 p.m. Regular meeting, call to order, announcements and reports. Citizens' comments comes next, and then the consent agenda with two items. There are two discussion and potential action items. Number one, direction from the council to start the Proposition 218 process. Number two, direction for council input on making cuts to special events. This little tidbit is from the Warrant Register. It shows a payment to Livingston 75 LP, the result of a recent settlement agreement between the city and the developer. $350,000 of this is coming out of the general fund reserves. Let's talk a little bit about item number three here to initiate the Proposition 218 process. Remember that invitation you got in the mail a few days ago? This is what that invitation was about. Mayor Gurpal Samra is hoping for a packed house this coming Tuesday. At the December 3rd City Council meeting, there had been a presentation by the city's rate study consultant. I'll leave a link in the video description below here so that you can take a look at that if you wish to later. As is usually the case, there weren't many people in the audience and there weren't many comments. Councilperson Aguilar, who was on the rate committee, had a few things to say. Mayor Pro Tem Garcia, who was also on the rate committee, didn't have anything to say about the presentation that evening. Mayor Samra talked about being out of the loop, so to speak, and wanting to know more about the capital projects that were included in the rate study. Personally, I thought that was a curious thing to say. After all, he had been on the committee back in 2018 when the TCP contamination filtration projects were first discussed. And all the information presented to the committee since then was only an email or two away. The other discussion and potential action item came about because all departments had been asked to cut spending by 10%, the recreation department included. At first, there was reason to believe the Court of Trees would have been a casualty of these cuts. Instead, it appears that cuts to the July 4th Festival, Street Fair, and Sweet Potato Festival are now on the table. The fiscal impact? Unknown for now. It will depend on how much the council decides to cut back on the July 4th Festival, the Sweet Potato Festival, or the Street Fair. Personally, I'm curious about how much each event costs to put on anyway with public works, police department, and recreation department costs all together. I don't think anyone has ever added all those numbers up. Looks like a perfect job for our elected city treasurer. So what do you think? I will point out again that Mayor Samra had been appointed to the stakeholders committee in 2018, and nothing was stopping him from legally being able to attend meetings after that. 
even after the seat was handed off to Mayor Pro Tem Garcia. County Supervisor Espinoza volunteered to be on the committee. He had as much access to information as any other person the committee has had. So what will happen Tuesday? Will any events be cut? Will there be an actual vote to go to hearing or will the council punt these decisions down the road for a while? Wouldn't be the first time something like that has happened. Since you're here, check out some of the other links in the description below. I'm including a link to the 2018 council meeting at which member appointments were first made to the stakeholders committee, the utility rates presentation given to the council on December 3rd, and the contact information for the police chief, county supervisor, city manager, and city council members. Until next time, this is the gardening snail of Livingston, California, because not every critter is hiding under a rock.